Hello, I have Cinema 2024.1.0 and I would like to use it as my main software but I forced to use the 2023 and now I show you why. First of all, when you open a node editor, you easily see the attributes for this material. But if you create the shader graph, you lose attributes. Very unconvenient way of doing things. In previous release everything works perfectly and here we had these all attributes. The next thing that is going from 2023 release is wrong rounding of multiplying or dividing. For example, I want to multiply it by 1.5. There should be a 15. No, it's 1. Multiply 1.6. 1. 1. Multiply 1.9, 1. And you see that it's rounding to not even to closer integer, but to lower integer. The same with, so let me multiply by 10, and I want to multiply it to something like 25.5, and it would be 4, but of course it shouldn't be 4. That's very strange. I hope that rounding would be proceed after all calculation inside, not before and not with digits, because 20 multiplied by 1.5 is not 20, there should be 30. One strange things. Let me create plane folder and we can't create subfolder. So it's not going there. Shader. When I select shader, it's OK. When I select folder, it's OK. But I can't create folder inside folder. And this is really strange behavior. So it's opening something inside, outside, create new things, reorder things. Very, very strange behavior in field with this create new folder button. Also, the old thing that was not prepared. When we select this load preset, everything is loading. When we're selecting all extrudes of you, it doesn't work. So it minimizes the window and uh, it shows the other software. The same was in 2023. So I don't understand what the problem to load the presets for a few extrude elements. Going next. So, we have stage with animated cameras on first frame, frame number 20, frame number 40. Nothing is happening, but during rendering, everything is changing, not in viewport. How should we understand and how we should keep and manage this thing? I don't understand. That's very strange behavior of stage object. The next big problem is that the tractor lost its field force parameter. We don't have fields here. That's very bad thing because in gravity we have fields but not into a tractor. Now we should compare and the GPU dynamics was highly promoted that is very good and effective way of doing things. So going to enable frame per seconds. I will use, for example, bullet like collider body, rigid body. Switching to static. Let me increase stop emission to 300. And we have a beautiful, like, a lot of frames per seconds, very fast. The same. Let me extend. Right click. Simulation, rigid body. Simulation. Collider. Let me set to both. 
300. I think they set the same. Enabling frames per second. And something weird is going on. We have much lower FPS than CPU dynamic. And they are colliding, going outside, but performance much lower. You see, 100, 100, we can up to 200, 200, 200, 200. Let me play. And average 40, 30, or even 12 FPS. The same with CPU. Much higher performance. And they are not like jumping out of the our emitter. So emitter, CPU. So we can compare the settings. The same. That were some crucial elements, especially with the rounding of multiplying and with not enabling to see the attributes in with enabled shader graph. For me, it's crucial not to switch to new release. It's not the released version like 2024.0. It had some updates, but these are crucial things that are not fixed yet. The performance thing, of course, looking very sad. Of course, there were some tests where GPU dynamic works better, but, but this simple scene shows that something is happening wrong because there should not be this type of behavior and lowering of the performance. So, Thank you for your attention, have a nice day.